it's very important to me to have great players and great people and people that you can get along with who act professional and uh, and and deal with this in the right way but uh, it's just in in my opinion it's what has to happen it, it's not just the stage time that matters you're you're on the road with people you have to be around them a lot so you, you got to be able to to like those people Everybody in the band is from Georgia or Alabama. And that means a lot to me because, you know, one thing that matters in music to me is authenticity of actually playing, you know, instead of, you know, what you see in a lot of the other places these days. So the authenticity of people who have really uh, honed their skill and talent on their instrument and growing up in the South and understanding what we're doing as well, I think it makes a big difference. And, uh, and it's just a, a great chemistry on stage together. I sat down and wrote you a long letter. Yeah. Music where we came from, bluegrass, folk, country, rock, jazz jazz fusion, so all of that is, is, is coming together as one thing on the stage, and so that's the uniqueness of what we're doing, and we're doing it acoustically as well, which is, you know, it's, it's a very uh, listener-friendly way to appeal to someone, to me. I know I do, so I think that's what people really like about it, too. Uh, plus, I think we're all pretty cool people. <laughs> I would describe it as kind of bulky bluegrass, but sort of with the backbeat, Almond Brothers, sort of a good feeling, you know, danceable, you know, country tinge type thing, but it's good. I mean, more percussion, um, so for the more intimate venues like this, which are, you know, sparse listening crowd sort of thing, I could do mostly percussion or snare, you know, with, with brushes and things like that. Or uh, for the full rock venue, you know, I can bring the old Ludwig, Ludwig kid. It's pretty amazing, and, and it, it especially lately has become a big family uh, affair for for Wet Willie. Um, you know, my dad is the uh, is the basis for Wet Willie, and um, for a couple years, probably 2014 to 2016 or so, he had uh, throat cancer and he, he was unable to, to play music at all. So I, um, I got to play with Wet Willie during that time while he was ill. And so I got to be real close to, um, to that side of my family's music, uh, very close. And, uh, and so now it's like, it's, it's, it means something more now, you know, kind of getting to see what it, you know, and hear their stories and play that music with them. And especially now, I feel like uh, it's, it's a lot of fun now. I feel like when we play music together, me and, and my uncle and my aunt, we have a, a very good time. They don't know exactly what to expect, but they're they're very much enthusiastic and and uh, and love and love what they're hearing when we're when we're doing it. It's just like, man, I know it's going to be good, but this is really really good. Yeah. You know, I like to be able to see everybody. I get in a big arena, or a, you know, a, a, an amphitheater or a, a big arena, and I like it. But I'll try to focus on these people that I can really see faces and see them smiling mm -hmm. and reacting. And, and that's, that's a big part to me, to see people respond and get involved.
Barry put this all together. Barry had a vision, and he's good about that. He's he's the one who had the vision and said, you know, I think this might work, and look, sounds good to me. And when you have people that you can see their reaction, and you, it's really cool. It's a it's a, the smaller venues is. It brings a different uh, dynamic. One thing I'd like to say is uh, music has no age limit. B.B. King, how old was he? 88, maybe older than that. You see great musicians and even okay musicians still do their thing into their, you know, 50s, 60s, 70s. We're in our 60s and our uh, knocking on 70s door. Come on with it. You know what? There's not an age limit. As long as you're doing what you love, it comes across. You know, we've got instruments from bluegrass, so there's some elements there, and especially in our musical backgrounds, but it's definitely not a bluegrass band. So at the same time, we have uh, a lot of these songs that are kind of southern rock and blues rock, but we're not really a blues rock band either. You know, so there's all these elements of where the music that we're, uh, that's on the set list that we're, that we're doing have all these uh, elements that are coming together that we end up doing the Barry Waldrop Band version, you know, which I think is uh, the most important thing, kind of find your voice and, and go with it, you know. People, their response, when they leave here, they're just pumped. They're excited, there's lots of chatter and thank you, what a great evening, that was an unbelievable show. Can't believe it's on LaGrange. You know, I mean, they want to see Barry on a big stage. They're just blown away that something like that's happening in such a small space. And so you, there was a really lot of buildup and people are happy. They're, when's the next show, when's the next show? They're always asking.